Hey guys, I'm so excited for this highly anticipated, highly requested live rig rundown video of my new live looping live performance setup. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the MIDI controllers, the instruments that I use, a very new looper device that's in development. I've been beta testing this thing with a amazing developer going under the name The Ableton Drummer. And this thing, I'm sure of it, is going to be a game changer in the Ableton Live looping scene. I'm going to do a demonstration of this new looper device and I'm going to show you the key features that sets it apart from any other looper. And as you can tell, I am super excited about this. From headphones to instruments to MIDI controllers, but there's so much in these videos coming that I'm going to make a series about it because this whole thing is ever evolving. So all this and much more coming in this video. Let's go. All right, so the sponsor for today's video is Dipster. Dipster is a platform that allows independent artists and bands to distribute their music on major platforms such as Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music, and lots more. These days, many artists are emerging from playlists on streaming platforms and getting onto the right playlist can seriously catapult your music career. With the pro version on Dipster, you can distribute and pitch your music for playlist integration that reaches about 300,000 listeners monthly. This is a great opportunity to gain visibility. You get unlimited releases and distribution on social networks, so you can share your music around the world and on all social media platforms when you want and as often as you want. That's not all. You also get YouTube content ID, mastering, express releases in just a few days. All this for only 16 euro 99 per year. Check it out. Okay, as I said in the intro, I am busy beta testing a new looper device and I am beyond excited about this. I have been receiving updates after updates from this developer almost daily. Uh, he goes under the name The Ableton Drummer and I am going to link his stuff in the description of the video. Go check it out. This guy is uh, Ableton Wizard. He can do pretty much anything. So it's been really a great honor just to work with him and being able to say that we are on a verge of a massive breakthrough with a looper device that I believe is going to be a game changer. Let me just tell you the main features. What set it completely apart from any other looper. It can overdub as all your loopers do, but the thing that sets it apart is every single overdub is created separately. So you have a separate track for each and every overdub that you create. And afterwards, you can go and tweak the audio to change it to anything. You can mix and master your live performance and create an album out of it, a studio quality album, because every single layer is recorded separately. Second point, this looper, what sets it apart from all other Ableton loopers and even the stock Ableton looper is the visual feedback. 
you get this spinning wheel to show you exactly where your loop is, exactly how long your loop is, and it's showing red green for you know obvious reasons. And it's gonna it's got undo that works flawlessly. I have been testing it. I've pl even played a live gig with this looper, and it's working. What sets it apart from the stock Ableton looper is the visual feedback, and is it actually shows you on your controllers, your MIDI controllers, if that loop is recording or not. Not just using dummy clips or anything like that, actually showing you recording clips. So the Ableton looper doesn't do that. It doesn't have a big visual feedback on your screen like this one. This one is customizable so you can do anything with it. And then another point that sets it apart is your overdubs can be any length. So on a usual looper, when you create a loop, all the other overdubs is bound to the length of that loop. But with this, it's such a mind blowing thing for me because I'm always used to that workflow. Now you can create a short loop and then the overdub can be 10 minutes long. And then the next one can be a minute long or, or you know, it's, there's no boundaries to this. And it's just really like, it's endless. So I'm going to do an in-depth video when it is released. I am going to go into detail. I'm going to show you exactly what this looper can do. And I'm going to have the links in. I'm going to get connected with the Ableton drummer and it's going to be awesome guys. I am super excited for this. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first piece of equipment that I'm going to showcase is the Mize Audio 99 Classic Headphones. These were sent to me by Meze Audio and I am impressed. So these headphones were assembled by using only nuts and bolts and no glue and no plastic. And the wood on these cups was actually used by trees that reached the end of their life cycle. So yeah, that's not going to change the sound. It's just, it just looks cool and it means that these are serviceable by just using your um, screwdriver. And uh, yeah, these just remember, these are not studio reference monitors. These are fun headphones. They have a good sound, but they are not critical mastering or mixing headphones. Okay, so the next piece of equipment, or should I say legendary instrument, is the Roland SPD SX electronic drum pad and this thing is just amazing. This thing, I would just, if I had to give it a ranking, I would say yes, it might sound cheesy, but it's legendary. Uh, this thing has been used in probably most drummers uh, live set it's just solid. I've never seen one or heard of it breaking. Um, it just works. And when you plug this thing into Ableton, it becomes a lot more. And let me tell you why. So what's very exciting about this being connected with Ableton is that you can have every pad play endless pads. Uh, velocity layers so let me explain so if I hit this snare for instance if I hit it softly it's going to play back a recording of an actual snare being played softly so the louder I start playing it's going to record velocity layers of the actual recordings of a snare drum on that level where it was played so What's also more mind blowing is that you can actually have it play round robins. So every single hit is not, if you hit it the same fours, it's gonna give you a different sound. So this just makes this thing endless in terms of realism, 
and flexibility and yeah it's just really cool i can play you know i can play melodies on this thing um like this which is also just amazing. Okay, so next up is, actually I am going to rewind a little bit and show you something not so fun, but so important. This little thing, the Cull Digit Thunderbolt 3 hub is a key component to making an entire setup like this work flawlessly without any glitches and before when I just started with Ableton I was using cheap hubs cheap USB hubs and I think you know what it's just plugging USBs in and that's calling it a day but you got to think about these are high caliber MIDI controllers sending so much data through that little hub so you need something with a lot of bandwidth so Thunderbolt 3 is 40 gig of bandwidth going through one cable, a Thunderbolt 3 cable straight to my laptop. So this little thing, it's really cool. It's got a lot of inputs and outputs. I think about nine inputs, uh, USB-C Thunderbolt inputs plus just normal. Plus you got an SD card reader there, really handy and yeah, it just really works and it's keeping everything in time. No glitches so far, super happy with it. And it's a little bit expensive, $300 for a USB hub. Well, this is a Thunderbolt 3 hub, um, but this thing, it's got a lot of inputs and outputs. It's gonna connect all your MIDI equipment glitch free. Well, at least for me at, for now. Um, and it charges your laptop. So it's really cool. Um, Amazing little piece of equipment called Digit. I highly recommend it. So just a side note before I move on, um, I when I started with Ableton, I almost gave up multiple times. And the biggest, I would say, culprit to giving up was not having the proper hub to connect all the equipment, to connect all the MIDI equipment to my laptop. So just letting you guys know. Okay, so moving on to the audio interface, the Antelope Audio Zentour Synergy Core. This thing is incredible in what it does. Um, it's a little bit also on the expensive side, coming to around $2,300, but it does the job and it is super flexible. So what I mean by flexibility is the routing inside this thing is endless it's uh for me i have not even scratched the surface to understand it and it can get a bit complicated so you really gotta study the internals and how it works the um, io but once you get it this thing is endless you can do so much connecting it with other adat controllers and yeah it's really cool Okay, so one of the main reasons why I got this audio interface is because it is a Thunderbolt 3 interface, meaning it is super fast when it comes to round trip latency. I think it's around 3 milliseconds when I have it running to my laptop. So this unit can also process audio and effects built inside of the unit. So you can run this thing standalone if you want to. So it's really great in that perspective, but yeah, it's giving me a very low latency when playing live instruments because the computer needs to process the audio, needs to go through the hub, it needs to go through the cables, all those things, that's round trip latency, and this thing does an amazing job. Okay, so next one, the Ableton Akai Professional APC40 Mark II. I would say in-game controller. <laughs> this thing, if you look at circle videos, you look at most Ableton DJs, just live performers, you will see this unit. And there's a reason for it. This thing is almost like Ableton in real life, in physical form. And it's a really good thing. I bought it about three years ago 
no problems it's amazing it works perfectly the knobs feel amazing the faders as well they are sturdy they don't fling around they've been working <laughs> this thing what i can't say anything bad about it it's working great it feels great it does the job and i would highly recommend it. all right so moving on to the keyboard in all-in-one controller the novation sl mark 3. this thing man uh ableton push you've got to run for your money this thing in my opinion does more than the push because if you look this thing has got a keyboard built in and it's got faders and it's got the visual feedback on these displays yes it doesn't have the big grid that the push gives you but man this thing works it's been i've been having i think it's three years now and it's working great the only glitches i ever got was because i didn't use the right usb hub but other than that this thing is working amazing uh it's all in one um it's can it can control the hardware units as well so it's very flexible in that department but yeah just having these lights here as well everything works amazing the faders feel great and yeah it's an all-in-one i would say it's an all-in-one controller as the push except with faders and keys all right so moving on to the actual instruments and once again if i had to think about everything that i have since 2013 this is the only instrument that came all the way and this is the ns design ned steinberger black nxt cello electric cello i bought it back in 2013 and to this day it's still going strong um i have nothing bad to say about it i can only say good things about it and it is amazing when i started playing cello i had a normal acoustic cello the normal size and one day the thing just broken off long story not really a long story but it broken off and then when i saw this thing i was like okay this is like half almost half the size so going for this uh it's been a dream because i can take this on the plane with me put it in on the top i'm all good to go it's super compact and it sounds amazing it's huge the sound of this thing is just incredible um so i've been using it to make the sound just even better i checked a company called three sigma audio selling uh impulse responses and these impulse responses there's one i think it's called, it's called the french cello an impulse response it's basically mimicking a sound from something recorded in a space so it's basically emulating the sound of an acoustic cello giving you that space uh so putting this impulse response through Ableton, running it on this cello is making this thing alive. It's sounding incredible. So I am happy about it. It's sounding great. Um, it's been it's been with me all the time. So legendary status. So another great thing about this cello is um, because I'm not a cellist, I'm not um, just classically trained. I didn't learn anything about the positions of a cello. So these dots embedded into the fretboard help me so much to know exactly where I am playing and being on pitch so they they are always very very accurate as well so I don't know how they did it this thing just it's it's a it's it just works and I'm really excited about this cello still to this day I mean it's almost 10 years later um, it's still going strong and I'm definitely still going to continue using it and just lastly, the playability on this cello is amazing. Um, you don't have to press really hard on the frets. Um, it's really just a breeze to play. And it's for anybody just learning cello for the first time, or never even played before, I would highly recommend getting this. And yeah, it's just, it's just a really cool sound. All right, so last but not least, the Golden Multiac Grand SA Nylon String Guitar this thing is a beast it's solid 
sounds amazing. And the first time I saw it, I actually saw Hans Zimmer playing it on, I think it was um, the Gladiator theme track um, on a music video. And I was like, wow, that guitar, how can he play it with a whole orchestra? I need that. I need that. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, Godin, thank you for sending me this. This has been a blessing. This guitar is actually a MIDI guitar as well, believe it or not. This thing can plug into a MIDI pedal, which is like a GR55, a Roland GR55, and then you can play any sound with it. Um, currently, I am just playing it with the beautiful natural sound, um, running through an impulse response once again, uh, which I got on 3 Sigma Audio. Uh, this is, it just brings this guitar to life. Um, it's really, really great. Um, it can be played on big stages with a very, very, very little feedback. For an acoustic guitar, it is pretty much unheard of. So yeah, highly recommend this one. I, I am in love and this thing is going strong. I'm enjoying it. And since I got this, I have not played with any other acoustic guitar live. So yeah, that's got to say something. And yeah, just lastly on these uh, pickups, this th this is actually six different pickups on here. Normal guitars just have one pickup. So this one has a pickup for each individual string, which is pretty mind blowing. Uh, so yeah, Godin, thanks for making amazing instruments. All right, so a lot of you will probably wonder, where is the Boss RC505 Mark II? It is not currently in my setup, but it's not out. Um, here it is. It is the best hardware looper. And since Boss updated it recently, I think it was back in June, that update completely made this thing solid, changed the game for hardware loopers as well. Uh, so I will always have a spot for this looper because this looper, as you can see in my viral videos, the Mark 1, it changed everything for me as well. So really great looper, always good things to say about it. And yeah, really just boss, always great job. Okay, so that is it for this video. And I am going to go through a lot more in coming videos. This is an ever evolving live setup, as you know. Um, there's just too much to cover in one video. Um, so drop a comment below and tell me what do you wanna see? Um, is there anything specific that you wanna see me going through in the next video? I would love to read it, drop it in the comments below. And yeah, in the next video, I'll be going through deeper stuff, through deeper Ableton integration, showing more about this new looper device, um, showing more equipment. There's so much more that I haven't even covered yet. So yeah, guys, I'm looking forward to the next video and thank you so much again for watching and just being a part of this journey with me. Love you guys. See you.